Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so okay, so basically you face the problem for your own code, which you already sent me uh, for that. Mm -hmm. So I'll not share identify using Sentinel One ascending and descending satellite imagery. Okay, yeah, so like, actually, I yeah. want to uh, estimate pixel wise soil moisture for uh, every image. Uh, okay, and then I want to uh, yeah. then I want to do trend analysis of soil moisture. You showed us about uh, trend analysis of NDVI, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. For multiple dates. Similarly, I want to do trend analysis for soil moisture for multiple dates and using ascending and descending orbits. Because okay. Sentinel-1, uh, any satellite gives uh, uh, data in two orbits, ascending and descending. Yeah. Okay. But I am facing problem with ascending and descending orbit because I did that soil moisture using descending orbit, but I have to use ascending data also. How to use it simultaneously? That is what I wanted to know. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let me share my screen. Actually, it is a validated model for soil moisture because we validated it over uh, different uh, agriculture scenarios using uh, different agricultural climatic zones in India, uh, Canada, etc. for different crops. Okay. Okay, so basically this is the code about that. And this type of equation, uh, we are just used for that. And... Um, uh, for we are just use that expression it also okay no problem yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and also for that so i'll do okay so we create the two function in here and further you're just yeah. connecting with that uh, uh your ascending and descending image collection yeah yeah okay. because uh how to use that both the images simultaneously because in here i have used uh, descending images yeah but ascending images i am not able to use simultaneously So ascending image is stored in that uh, SAR variable. Because, yeah, because uh, in the suppose in particular study area, ascending image is not there, only descending image is there, or vice versa. Descending image is not there, ascending image is there. In that case, I have to predict soil moisture. Now, how to do that? Okay. So, the code should predict soil moisture uh, irrespective of image, every, uh, for every image, whether it is ascending or descending. Okay. That is my problem. So this is the S1. So basically it's that uh, your ascending imagery, yeah? Yeah, ascending imagery. This is descending. Now suppose there would be a code, right? Uh, for uh, that code should uh, write soil measure for any image. Not only descending. Ascending also, both. Okay, in this time, do you want to both merge and then create that or just offer only Yeah, for I have to yeah. do the soil moisture for every day. Then yeah. I have to make a stacked soil moisture imagery, multi-date okay. soil moisture data, so that I could uh, do the trend analysis for that image. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is what two imagery you can get from here. And you can just use that, that SAR imagery. Okay, so basically SAR, it is stored at the ascending. Okay. Yeah. And from that, take the first and select this band about that. Okay. And then calculate this type of soil moisture in here. So now uh, you want to just merge two imagery, basically it's about SAR and ascending and descending. Okay, two imagery you want to yeah. make the one and then further you calculate that soil moisture, yeah? No problem, or uh, we can yeah. also do like, uh, you can merge or stack ascending soil moisture images and stack descending soil moisture images. That is yeah. also you can, we can do. Yes, 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 uh, okay, so let me try. 
suppose we already create the two image collection one is that um, okay so it's okay so you already stored the two things in here so for that we just take a variable suppose i put the variable sir and in this variable i try to make the stack two images mainly i just try mm. to add, add that merge and then suppose sir it stack descending and stack ascending yeah so pe dot emails collection and here we find a two emails collection as the sar which is stored that ascending and another image collection sar2 which is the descending and now for that we are just use the same suppose sar no problem and then for the now try to check what happened it will be much on it show that image collection okay image list okay so we have to use here that we have to combine the screen so let me check a function about that just So e ems collection uh, dot march march and then i put here my two ems okay so one is the sar and another is the sar2 which i already created in here i paste here uh, but the weaker coach Okay, so in this time it's the image collection. Okay, suppose how many images is available for that? Suppose print sir, it computing the how many image collection about that. We find out from here total two images. Okay, and for that sir two, we see the descending in the screen here. Sir two, sir two, we find out total. 48 okay 48 image collection for the start uh, descending ascending to ms and descending to 48 so now this both image collection i just try to make the march So now I will settle over check and further. Yes, and finally I want to uh, download all the stacked soil moisture images. After merge these two collection, we find out that uh, how many images it will be printed here. Fifty imagery. Okay. So in this time, this SAR image it is stored that. Uh, our for two ms for descending and 48 for uh sorry two ms for the ascending and 48 for the descending okay it's in the sar image in here so we can find out okay, the total okay. 50 images in here ah, so total the, means uh sar yeah. images plus so much images so total images 50 yeah yeah, yeah. 
So now okay. we, we are just try to okay just same variable I try to use in here. So from the sir we try to make this map and for that times okay so what about the time signature? Okay, so now you can get the time signature you can see. Okay, so now yeah. this time signature we find out that total 50 imagery. Okay, single image mm -hmm. suppose 50 imagery for the first image. Uh, for the what is the um, you can put here the chart for that. Mm, I think it will it will be mean or this one. Yeah, mean. Okay, so it shows the is uh, image for the mean. Suppose first image to uh, we can get that mean soil moisture value. Second image mean. So it shows about the average result about the soil moisture value for the different time different imagery okay single imagery average value we can get from here okay and now it merge the two image collection ascending and descending 50 images we can find out total and for that this 50 uh, images we make and create this type of time series chart about that okay and yes, now yes. i want to check about the trend line suppose i want to apply the trend and then check about that this soil moisture train is high or low trend we find out okay is it for the checking the trend between this okay. data set. okay so let me add the trend board just add it. so add the chart option yeah so i just try to add the code in here just add it. the trend So I want to add the trend lines uh, for this argument we have to add. At the trend line here, just put the comma sign and just use a keyword trend. Trend, sorry, trend lines. And then make a dictionary. So curly bracket start and in. In this dictionary, you can put here that first of all, um, we are just put here one thing, which is and no. so basically. Uh, in this time, I want to make the trade line uh, this chart. Okay, you can get the only for the one one line about the graph. So for that, in this time, zero zero is the first item of this uh, list. We already know about that. So I put the zero, and then further I just put all of correct, 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 correct. and then you can say zero. I just put at that type. Suppose I need the trade line is as a linear. Basically, we can get the trade line for the linear, uh, polynomial, and exponential. So I want to get the linear line about that for trend. Yeah, yeah polynomial will be good because the trend is that uh, trend is not linear. Uh, yeah. Polynomial okay, so will be better. Yeah, yeah. Better. Okay, so just put at the poly. And further, and further, if you want to put the suppose line about this, okay, so this is the different types of we can suppose line width i put in here line width such as five equal and further opacity opacity i can also add for the line suppose opacity first i put at suppose 0.2 and also add the lesion suppose i put at the visible visible in lesion visible in listen and set operator two. so now try to check what happened i just run the port it working So now it will be in the trend about that. So 
as you can get you can see this type of polynomial prayer line in here. Yes, correct, yes, correct, correct, correct. We can also make it darker. Yes, yes, we can also make it darker, that curve. Yes, yes, thank you so much, ma'am. Actually, this is the part of my uh, research work. This code is part of my research work, which, which I developed for uh, estimating soil moisture for entire uh, India and uh, African countries. For different crops. And please let me know when the, your advanced course is starting. Because I want to learn some advanced concepts in Google Engine Code. And how much is the fee for that course, uh, advanced course? Please, please, because I am very much interested in that, uh, so that I am a model developer, so I want to learn that as soon as possible. Okay, okay. Please share the link also. Okay, thank you.